Please welcome founder and director of Staging Rentals and Construction Services, Mary Took. Thank you, Ida. Um, it's my great privilege this evening to present a Lifetime Achievement Award to Lena Maloof. Groomed from an early age for a life in business, Lena spent most of her childhood in her father's grocery store, where she learnt the value of customer service, which she maintains to this day as the key to her success. Uh, Lena finished school in the early 50s, before most of the people in this room were born, and opened her first flower shop in Wollongong in 1960. She quickly became known as one of Australia's leading celebrity florists and is one of the few non-Japanese Ikebana masters of the world. In 1982, Lena branched into the world of parties and special events and quickly developed a reputation for excellence with a client list to match. Over the next few years, her clients came from many referrals. Assume nothing, she once said. Follow up with your clients after each event. Find out if they were happy or how you could have improved the job, and they will more than likely give you repeat business. Lena took a personal interest in every project. This has been reflected in the various accolades she has received in the United States for her work, which includes gala awards for best corporate event in 2000, 2001, 2007, and 2009, and she was awarded event planner of the year in 2002, and a nomination for best corporate event in 2003. Lena was the first Australian to be accepted into the prestigious American Academy of Florists, the American Institute of Floral Designers, and Professional Floral Commentators International, becoming the first person in Australia with three prestigious floral accreditations in the US. Importantly for the events industry, Lena was the founder of the Australian chapter of the International Special Events Society. She served on the international executive and was international president of the society. I encourage people to join ISIS because they will meet true professionals, she once said. Membership gives them the opportunity to meet mentors and a reason to perform at the highest level. Lena was later instrumental in the founding of the Melbourne chapter of ISIS. In 2010, Lena was awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award at the special event held in New Orleans. The award recognised her contribution to the international events industry. It was the first time an Australian had been so honoured. In 2011, Lena was awarded life membership of the American Institute of Floral Designers and 2012 life membership of the International Special Events Society. Lena speaks all over the world on event management planning and event design. This week she has just returned from the Philippines where she gave a design presentation in Manila to the Events Asia Conference and will again be presenting to the special event in Chicago in 2013. Lena is the author of numerous books. Her early publications from 1968 on focused on the floral arts. And she went on to write behind the scenes at special events and parties and special events planning and design. As recently as this year, she published the saucily named Events Exposed, Managing and Designing Special Events. In spite of her so-called retirement many years ago, Lena continues to be active and engaged in the special events industry. It's my great pleasure to welcome to the stage the recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award, the First Lady of Special Events in Australia, Lena Maloof. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Listening to you, I actually felt tired. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am extremely humbled to receive the honour from the Australian Event Awards 2012. The industry has been a major part of my life and the one I absolutely love. The journey has given me a spectacular career and great friends over many years. In my early 20s, I did follow in the family tradition of retailing. My main floral competitor was a lady called Elsie. Each day she would be seen with pink rollers in the hair, pink fluffy slippers with matching pink apron. A sight to behold, but Elsie did have the funeral trade. Wanting more longevity from my clients, I pursued the wedding market. The, the 70s, with my daughter Shaz, who's with me this evening, and Greg and Brett, my son, saw a move to Sydney in search of the larger aspects of business. In the 80s, Shaz joined me and we swung the business into specialisation for corporate clients. Professional event management as we know it today did not exist. The focus was on society fundraisers and private parties. Conferences, however, started to evolve with AV, slideshows and entertainment. Many in this room experienced the excesses of the 80s when events was definitely a buzzword. As organisers, we programmed lavish spectacles, all designed to leave the guests breathless. International travel began in 1982 and ultimately led to the Special Event Organisation and ISIS. It was from the spirit and support of my like-minded American peers, founding president, Dr. Joe Goldblatt, Tim Lundy, Andrea Michaels, John Daly, Lisa Hurley, and of course, David Merrill, that I returned to Australia determined to make us a part of the international scene. Initially, there was a very small but special group involved in establishing ISIS Australia. Ken Eth, Perry Snodgrass, Trevor Connell, Robert Johnson, Wayne Elstub, Tim Kennard, formerly Grafton's, Glenn Lehman and the late Clifford Wallace. The growth of this society came quickly. There was an overall desire of professional and high profile colleagues, Mary Took, David Beale, David Grant, John Allen, Brian Halliday, Pamela Wheat, Valerie Percival, Greg Hancock, Lex Sebecki and Peter Jones of, Mel of Melbourne, and countless others all recognised the importance of global recognition. And more importantly, having working partners both nationally and internationally. This newly developed industry model no longer saw our competitor as a threat, but as an ally. There are many in this room that hold fond memories of this beginning that they have pioneered, which now, of course, is history. We have come a long way together, and even though I have been in this business for over 50 years, I won't ever get over the passion that I hold for this industry. It truly remains the essence of my zest for life. I look forward most to observing our youthful event professionals as they will revolutionise the industry, I believe, and take it to another dimension. On reflection, the two things that I love and treasure the most are my gorgeous Shazzy and son-in-law Renee, who's with me this evening. You have always been there, love you both. And of course, my esteemed colleagues and my close friends, you are by far the highlight of my career. And for that, I am truly thankful. Thank you and God bless you.